Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Vidalia episode number 15. On today's episode we're at Woody Folsom Dodge Jeep and Chrysler in Vidalia. I'm Ross Kelly, CEO and Realtor with Lovins Realty and Investment Company, your host. And our special guest today is big boy Jody Wills, Senior Sales Rep at Woody Folsom Dodge Jeep and Chrysler. Jody, welcome to the show. How you doing? Doing well, man. Doing well. I tell you, this, this weather, you can't beat it. It's beautiful. It's perfect here on this lot when you got nice sunshine, music going. And a little cool breeze still hitting us and it just makes you want to stay out here all day and sell cars. It's a good day to sell some cars, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, thank you for allowing us to come on the uh, lot here and take a little bit of your time. I know you're busy and shoot this episode of Simply Vidalia. And uh, why don't you just start off by telling us a little bit about Woody Folsom, about his history, about where he began and how we got to where we are right now today. Woody Folsom started just like I started. He started selling cars a long time ago. He was a little sales guy that had big dreams like we all do. Everybody's got big dreams and he, he decided he wanted to build his own franchise and business and he talked with Chevy and they gave him a chance a long time ago in Hazelhurst. He started his business there in Hazelhurst. He's grown to Baxley, Georgia. He now has 10 acres of cars in Baxley, Georgia. He's had two lots here, had one in Jessup, one in McRae. He just keeps growing and growing and growing. We got a Nissan down the street. We actually have uh, two lots, one across the road from each other. Mm -hmm. We have this lot here. Then we have the Ford store, the Overflow, the Chevy dealership, and another Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Baxley. We have a Overflow in McRae and an Overflow in Jessup. Man, y'all got cars all over the place. I have 419 on floor here at this store. Woody has in Baxley over 2,000 on floor. Wow. What an inventory. So it's pretty much something for everybody, no matter what you're looking for. I mean, it sounds like y'all got most of all the brands covered. Y'all got a good inventory. You got a lot to choose from. So uh, anybody ought to be able to find anything they're looking for. If they're looking for a vehicle, whether it's a truck, car, SUV, motorcycle, if, if mom and pop's looking for some cattle trailers to move the cows, we got them. Wow. We got some of everything here. They got anything you could think of. It don't just have to be the brands that we sell. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Jeep Ram. We have Cadillacs, Toyotas, anything. If we don't have it, what do you tell us to go get it? That's right. That's a good business model. Now, I want you to tell us, uh, now here at this lot we're on now, you focus on Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep. Yes, sir. We got Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and our Ram trucks. They're called Ram now. They they changed it. it. Used to be Dodge Ram trucks. But now it's strictly Ram. We uh we have all brands here, from base models up to limiteds. We have work body trucks, sport utilities, cargo vans, new and used. This lot right here was. It originally started when it was an overflow, mm -hmm. and it was just basically all used vehicles. And then our general manager Steve Hutchinson. And Woody, they turned it into the Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram store. We just celebrated our one year anniversary in November. And we have mostly new vehicles here on this lot. We don't have that many used, but we're starting to pick up our used inventory also. But if anybody wanted anything, we usually would have it here on this lot. If not, myself, there's uh, two sales managers, Byron Reese and Cole Hendricks or our general manager, Steve Hutchinson, they can find any vehicle that you want. We can order them. We order all the Jeeps, Rams, Chrysler, Dodge, anything. If you come in and you tell us you wanted a truck that just had roll up windows and it had to be a certain color, you come in, sit down, we'd order it if we didn't have it. Wow. That sounds like a good uh, streamlined process. You guys have got it going on. Now, now, outside of sales, you guys also offer service, correct? Oh, yes, sir. We have a great service department. We have a new service manager called, his name's Chris Jones, and we have an excellent team back there that works with him. Marty Moore is our shop foreman, and then we have two service riders, Stephen Overcash and All Day. They both write service. 
all day actually has a history. He was a technician before he went to service riding. So if you come in and you started talking to him about my truck's doing such and such, it's got such and such history, you know, of having a problem with him having that technical side to it. Also with writing it up, he could sort of diagnose your problem before we actually have to go in there and spend hours with a technician, you know, looking into it because he has that history in it. Well, you know, when you save time on having to research a problem, when you've got that kind of knowledge and uh, here on the grounds, you know, then that just saves the customer money because they're not having to pay a tech to run down a problem. Yes, sir. And it also has a better turnover rate where if the customer brings the vehicle in, the quicker we can get to the problem and get it solved, the quicker the customer gets their vehicle back. It just makes a happy process. Yeah, it really does. Now, um, what all is involved in the service? What all do you offer service after the sale? Let's say I came in and bought a brand new Ram truck. Uh, you know, I needed to come in and keep up with my schedule maintenance. You guys do oil changes from the top down. Yes, sir. We we would actually line up your first oil change for you. You come in, say I bought, uh, was your salesman and you bought a vehicle from me, I would schedule your first service appointment. We'd also send you emails. You get service phone calls. We come in and we line you up. But the good thing about it is I would also give you a card and if you had any issue to come up, you call me. I could send a rollback with a loaner vehicle because we have a loaner fleet. Mm -hmm. Put you in that loaner, I bring your car here and get it worked on. So our service after the sale now, wait keeps a minute. going. Let me, let me interrupt you. So you're gonna put a loaner vehicle on a rollback and bring it to me so I have something to go and bring my vehicle back here? Yes, sir. Wow, that's almost unheard of. That's Woody <laughs> Folsom. He, he, he believes 100% in his customer satisfaction. Yeah. And we that's one of the things we do to make sure our customers are satisfied. Because if you just bought, let's be honest, if you bought a $37,000 truck, mm -hmm. you wasn't gonna be happy if it sat on the side of the road. No, not so at all. We're gonna try to keep you happy. I mean, some some things do happen. That's right. You know, it happens in the world. People need service done on their truck. We're gonna make that service a little bit more happy for you, so we're gonna bring you a loaner vehicle. Cause you still have stuff to do just because your truck stops don't mean your world's going to stop for you. That's right. So we need to be, make sure you can keep on doing things. So we're going to bring you a vehicle and we fix yours. Well, that's awesome. And I tell you, it's obviously working because you can't build the type of business and legacy that Woody's built not having that kind of customer service. I mean, obviously people love doing business with you guys and they keep coming back. That's the greatest thing about selling cars for Woody Folsom. I started a long time ago at another dealership and come to Vidalia working for Woody Folsom. His name sold half of the cars I sold when I first started. Yeah. People didn't, well, people did know me, but they didn't know me the way they know Woody. Yeah. So his name helped my sales. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Um, now, car sales is a, a competitive business. What do you think makes Woody Folsom and all his products and stores stand out above the competition? Our service and our name that we have just builds on top of it. But now we also compete against the other Woody dealerships. Gotcha. This store right here is going to compete with the store down the road. It's going to compete with the ones across the bridge too. So we have to make sure we have a perfect team put together and it's going to just help our sales go up. As long as we come to work, we get together. We'll talk every morning. You always got to put God first and your career second. And then we'll come in and we'll have a big business build up. We'll tell everybody we'll go over what we're going to do. And we just keep in touch with our contacts and just have a relationship built with them. You just gotta keep on with the sales every day. You gotta, just because what we what we call it is loading the Ferris wheel. Just because you sell some today, you got to work for tomorrow too. Yeah. So we load the Ferris wheel. We talk to, everywhere you go, you gotta talk with a customer. The next person that's gonna talk to might be your next customer. That's right. It sounds like a good business model and it sounds a lot like our business model. Uh, we don't meet as much as you guys do, but you know we do have staff meetings and we do put God first and put God in the center. And uh, but we also do the um, competition. You know we don't per se have competition inside our own office, but like y'all do here, y'all compete with uh, you know the other Woody dealers. We do have healthy competition inside of our office. You know it's not aggressive competition, but we try to outsell and updo each other. And, and I think that's good for business. That's that's the best way to be because we we offer certain bonuses we give to our sales guys. You know, if you hit so many new cars per month, then you'll get some incentives. Yeah. If you, once a week, we'll do the first person to sell 
a car that day or the person that sells the last car that day they'll get incentives yeah you know, it keeps it keeps the drive going in your yeah. sales staff but it also gives them something to work forward to because you know if you come in and you're you're putting 110 percent in there some days it's just some days it's hard yeah i mean you can you can have five appointments and none of them show up that's right you just got to keep keep your staff motivated so you give them that extra little push well it's obviously working like i said before and uh, you guys are doing a good business and i obviously noticed when i pulled in here you know nobody knew who i was when i pulled in here in my personal vehicle and i pulled up and got out and was able to walk around just a little bit and i felt kind of like i had the freedom to look around a lot if i wanted to and uh, i didn't feel like i was you know being pounced on uh it just was a nice pleasant experience just to pull into the lot well, we get our staff and we we tell them you know i i I help train some of the new guys that come in, and I tell them, you know, you speak and greet everybody. Yeah. But you don't have to stay on top of them like it's a pit bull on a piece of meat. Yeah. I mean, give them some time. If somebody wants to look at something, they'll ask you if they can have the keys to something, or you, all you have to do is gently offer, hey, if you see something you like, come get one of us. Yeah. With, you ain't got to be on top of them because sometimes that just – People don't go in Walmart and you see people on top of them. Hey, you want that bread? Let me put this bread in your buggy. Yeah. Let them, let them shop. That's what yeah. they're here to do. Well, it was a pleasant experience, and that's just one of the first things that stood out to me that I really liked. So it was comfortable to come here, uh, and I, obviously it would be for any customers coming to look for cars, too. Well, I hope so. That's what we build on. That's right. Well, tell us, uh, what kind of sales force do you have here? How many salesmen do you all have on staff? Right now we have eight salesmen on staff. Um, okay. We have had up to 15. Mm -hmm. And actually, I have been looking for some more people to join us. We, we've we asked, you know, our internet department is growing. Yeah. Myself and uh, Jeremy Carter, we we tried to put out at least 30 to 50 vehicles strictly off the of internet. That ain't counting the ones that hit here on the lot. Yeah. We're, we're sitting right now at 125 cars a month, and we're wanting to make that 230 mark. So we do every month, we pick up more and more and more for our internet department, and we're trying to get some more staff in. The more people you have on your staff, you know, they're gonna bring in people that, that know them. And also, if you have more vehicles on your lot, obviously you can sell more. We, we actually have some holes on the lot and everything. We're trying to get them filled up. We got some new vehicles coming in. So we, we've been pushing back this last month on selling our older age units. So we can make room for these new ones because the new one's going to come in and they're going to they're going to be hitting like wildfire we got some great products that's coming out this year mm -hmm. and people are begging for them to hit the lot so i got to pick up some more staff to cover it up we'll do that if if not we'll just we'll put more on the ones that's got here at work now we'll put some more on their plate well i'm sure they can handle it no doubt and uh you know, again, obviously, it's a nice work environment. Um, I'm sure that people that love, that work here, love to work for you and or, or work with you and work for Woody. Well, they they say they do. Now, I, yeah, I hope I hope they do. I I'll go ahead. I'll put it at my point. Yeah, I love every one of them I work for. Uh, Steve Hutchinson is my general manager, and I wouldn't I wouldn't trade him for the world. That's been the best boss man I've had, and I've I've been on this earth for 38 years. Yeah, a lot of it's been working. He's the best man I've ever worked for. Uh, Cole Hendricks and Byron Reese are my sales managers. They they are top notch, 100% energy, and I love it. They they stay on top of us every day. Myself and Jeremy Carter, you know, working in the internet, I couldn't have a better partner in the world. Jeremy Carter has come in. He has tremendously turned this company around since he come in with the company. I've been here going on three years. Brandon Williams has been here, and Tyrone Gillis. That's some of our senior reps. Now we have some newer staff that work here, and they they say they like working with me. They say I'm a good person to get along with, and I've I've heard from time to time I can be a rough one too. But you know, it, you got a job to do, though, right? <laughs> yes, sir. I I I love the I wish that the fact that you could always be friends and and not have to have a business part of it, but business has a part of it too and I, i'm 100 percent woody dedicated as what we call it so uh if i see something that we need to do as far as this store this lot i'll get on it and we're gonna make it happen yeah some people might not like to do it but 
I spend 90% of my life, we talked about it the other day, I spend 90% of my life here at this car lot. Yeah. I'm here Monday through Friday. I hardly ever take a day off unless I'm DJing with Nat4 Productions, but I'm here at 7.30 in the morning most days, and I stay here 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Sunday after church, I come up here again. Yeah. We have, I have physical inventories I have to do. I put my hands on every vehicle out here and write every VIN down and stock number and that's, they have to be 100% dedicated. Well, that's a, a lot of work and I know you're telling the truth because I've seen your Facebook post and you're up here, it's dark outside and the timestamp on there don't lie. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Snapchat, Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm over, I'm over Woody Folsom's Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter, but I also have my personal one and I, I think uh, everybody, everybody gets on to me a lot because they said my life is on social media 24 7. Hey, well you got to tell your story. I mean that's an important part of doing business as well as with your personal life, but let people know what you do. Let people know that the hustle's real and that it's just, just not, you know, something made up. Yes sir. I, I did a live feed not too long ago on Facebook and I did the exact same thing that you just said. It is, there's some people that get the aspect, hey, he makes big money. It's 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 a grand world, mm -hmm. but they just don't understand. And they it, think it's easy. It'd be the same way in your business. You know, you can make good money in e selling anything. Somebody could sell candy bars and make good money. Yeah. But they have to be out there grinding every day to sell them to make that money. Yeah. It's a grind completely. from daylight till dark. That's my right. My mama, my mama's one of the world's worst. She jumped on me the other night because I was. It was eleven thirty at night. And I was on my phone. Yeah. But I told her, I said, Mama, I sell cars for a living. My phone goes off. I got to talk. That's right. That's what he said, talk to me. He didn't, he wasn't lying when he said talk to me. <laughs> you got to talk to us and we got to be there to answer that talking. Well, good, man. I tell you, I'm, I'm proud for you guys. Your lots look great. All your lots look great. The, the building looks great. The facade looks good. You know, uh, obviously you got a, a real good business going on here. Why don't you tell the viewing audience how they can get in touch with you, where they can find your social media, things like that. They can come up here to the lot. It's at 2101 East 1st Street in Valdea, Georgia. It's located beside Mount Vernon Bank. You can call the store number at 912-537-8278. You can find us on Facebook, Woody Folsom Dodge of Vidalia, Twitter's Woody Folsom Dodge of Vidalia, and our Instagram, Woody Folsom Dodge of Vidalia. Woody Folsom also has the website, www.woodyfolsomdodgeofvidalia.com. We, we patent that name religiously. Um, myself, you can find me on Facebook. I'm sure 90% of us have me on Facebook. It's Jody Wilts or at Facebook at DJWiltsBigBoy.com. There you go. Awesome. Well, hey, Jody, uh, thanks again, man, for letting us come out. It's been a pleasure to do this show with you today, and we really appreciate y'all's time. Yes, sir. I'm glad we actually got to do this. I've been begging for this for a long time, and I hope we get to do it again. Yeah. I'm going to get some other guys, you know, that can talk to you. There's, there's, plenty, of, there's plenty of managers here that can have free time to talk to you if we ever – Set it aside. Well, sounds good, man. We'll try to work our way uh, back around to get back to this lot again sometime soon. And thank you again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, there you have it, everyone. Woody Folsom, Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler in Vidalia. This is Jody Big Boy Wilts, and I'm Ross Kelly, CEO and Realtor with Lovin's Realty. We'll see you next time.